Okay, so I made it to Yawa and I booked into the caravan park. I was going to camp, but it was just too windy. And um, I wanted to get two nights, but I could only get one night. Apparently there's some Opal TV crew here. I think it might be that Opal Hunter show. Uh, be cool if I ran into them. I'd, um, I'd like to fly my drone around their set and fuck them up. That'd be good. But um, I just, I don't really know where I am. I took a road and I kept following it and I ended up in this little clearing here. And um, I'll switch the camera around. There we go, that's better than my head. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm not really sure where I am. I think I've only got to follow the road straight out. I don't think I diverted, although there was a few, few funny squiggles in the road. Um, I can't hear much over the wind. Before I thought I heard what sounded like, well, maybe a motorbike, but my first guess was it was some sort of, some sort of diesel engine or something. This is interesting. I'm fairly certain this isn't really allowed. I don't know where I am, but I know this is not a public fossicking area. And these people have claims and everything everywhere. I don't really understand how it all works. But um, I'm not out here to steal a opal. I've just come out here for a drive to see what was around. And it seems that this is what's around. And I would kind of like to take a bit of a dig through that dirt. Oh, there's a keep out sign. Oh, look at this. Excavator over there. There's something happening. Open mining. Anyway, I think it'd be awful easy for me to do the wrong thing out here. Be walking around with the camera completely innocent and... Some hillbilly thinks I'm claim jumping and all of a sudden they find me in a hole, you know, in like 300 years later. My goodness. Drove all the way to Yarra for this wind and it's bringing the rain by the look of it. I'm pretty sure I just felt a bit of a spit. I suspect my new camera is blocking out all that wind Oh, sorry, not my new camera, my new microphone. So hoping it's working well. Right, I think what I'll do is go back to the car. And even though it's a lot windier than I would ever like, I think I might, uh, I think I might put the quadcopter in the air, have a bit of a fly. At the very least, before that uh, that rain turns up. I did get a bit sidetracked actually, so so while I could only get one night at this, this caravan park, I went and got some scones and a coffee from what I guess is the only, the only place in Yow where you get scones and coffee from. And the chick there knew of a cabin, this chick's name who was on the building. So I gave her a call and I booked that place for tomorrow night, that's Friday night. So at the very least, I'll get my two days here, even if it's a little bit, you know, I've got to pack up and move down the road and do it all over again. And it is a bit of a pain in the ass with the car. You know, I've got a lot of gear. And, um, you know, shit is trouble. I've actually got a car coming. Right, eh? <laughs> that story about me getting buried and alive in a hole might actually be, uh, might come to something. Tell my wife I love her. Well, here we go. Here he comes. Right, uh, well, at the very least, I'm recording. Might just lower the camera on the assumption that he's going to stop and say something to me. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that was nice enough. Just got a wave. I guess he knows I'm not up to any nonsense, hopefully. 
but still, I don't know where I am, but I know I shouldn't be out here. Okay, I don't know if I completed my, my train of thought then. Um, so the chick at the scone shop um, set me up with this chick's name who was on the front window to give her a call. I booked in for Friday night there, that's right, I did say that, because I'd have to pack up my gear and move. But not the end of the world, because it gives me one full day in a fossicking field, if I want to do that, and I can get a good night's sleep, and I can have a shower, and I can do all those things that you're going to want to do after a night of crawling around. Oh, look at that, an emu. I'm going to try and zoom in. I did see an emu, but he's gone hiding there. Oh, here comes the dust. Anyway, I think what I might do is, uh, is get my quadcopter ready. Wouldn't that be awesome if I could get a, an emu on my drone? That'd be pretty cool. Oh damn, it's windy. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Not the smoothest takeoff. Don't know what happened then. I think that wind is a bit stronger than I thought it was. Yeah, that wind's pounding me. Okay, what happened to that emu? Did I see an emu before? Oh, that was cool.
Okay, I've got flies all over me. I'm feeling like I've done this thing. I fought the wind. The wind hasn't won yet. Let's bring her in for a landing. Wow, that's windy. Okay. Okay, so I just took my quadcopter for a fly. Very, very windy, but uh, managed to scare an emu. That's always good. You've got to have goals in life. Scaring the fuck out of an emu with an FPV quadcopter was definitely one of them, so, you know, it's not like I didn't achieve anything today. This is a pretty cool tree. This tree, I think that's very cool. I took a picture of it, but I'm still learning to use my camera, so I just used auto. It's gonna kind of probably be blurry and whatever, but it's a tree. Right, uh, I think I've entertained myself enough at this spot. Might pack up my ship before one of those hillbillies comes to investigate what that sound was. Oh, look at that. Might have some storm going. Got to be a bit of rain in that. That could be good. Make the opal shine. I really got to find some opal, like, or at least some of those nuts. I mean, I drove fucking almost 2,000 kilometres to make a D's nuts joke. If I don't find nut here, jokes on me, I'm a fool.